all. Yeah. Uh, it's 10.47 in the morning. Yeah. I have approximately, um, well, I have two hours. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I thought about the schedule for the day. I thought I'd spend two hours here. Yes. Then maybe an hour in the library, and that would be until about uh, 1 2 o'clock. Yep. Yeah. Then um, I'm going to have to try and get $5. I'm going to take a shower tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to need some coffee in the hospital. Oh, mm -hmm. I was able to get a new rolling machine and some papers, but I'm still on a dollar fifty short. Yes. And then I might go to the hospital today after being in the library, mm -hmm. uploading some videos. Yes. But I wanted to continue with Exodus 20. Yes. Mm hmm. Uh, this concept in uh, verse 8, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. <laughs> you know, a lot of people, their thought is, well, Saturday or Sunday is the day that they're good. Mm -hmm. I thought it was every day that we were supposed to do that. <laughs> now, uh, verse 9, six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of the religious, they would not work on Sundays. And if you're Seventh-day Adventist, you won't work on Saturdays. <laughs> now, um, my thought was that um, you would get time and a half and double time, and it, <laughs> you might consider it a sin to work uh, 90 days and get 30 days off. Yes. But let's say you spent that whole month of um, Sundays. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if you're going to have to make an agreement with God on this, but um, when I think about the amount of construction needed in the United States, yeah, I like the idea of those in uh, in the Union, yeah, <laughs> making over $100,000 a year. Poop. Now, I know that working six days a week, you would get a regular time for 40 hours plus an additional eight hours a time and a half. Yeah. But let's say you had a talk with God and uh, it didn't violate your religion to work 90 days, 11 hours a day, 77, day, uh, 77 hours a week. Yes. And you worked yourself to complete exhaustion and then you had 30 days off. Mm. Mm. Now, uh, in 90 days, that would be uh, for a 12 weeks. Yes. And that would be 12 days that thou shall not labor of the 30. Yeah. That would give you 18 days where you could say, well, uh, I'm not. Well, if you're not working for 30 days. Yeah. I think you better talk to God about this because <laughs> I've always been of the mindset that if you could get time and a half for 40 to 60 hours. Yes. And you could get double time. Yeah. For, uh. 60 to 77 hours, yes. And you're working 24 hours a day, two uh, uh, crews, you know, mm -hmm. uh, those that work at night and those that work uh, at, in the day. Yeah. You would get a lot of things done a lot faster, yes. Now, I know, it violates your religion. And what happens is you say, well, I have to have Saturdays off. And <laughs> I say that you can go get a job someplace else. <laughs> now, the Department of Labor is upset with me, yes. Could you get the employees of the Department of Labor? We seem to be making exceptions for any person that <laughs> says, well, it violates my religion to work seven days a week. Now, uh, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it uh, thou shalt not do any work. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, uh, nor thy maidservant. Yes. Nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because in verse 11, it says that for in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth, uh, the sea and all that uh, in them is, mm, and rested the seventh day. Uh, wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Yeah. Now, I know when God can make the whole universe in six days and rest on the seventh day, that's a literal seven-day week. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. 
There is no doubt in my mind that there was no sun, there was no moon. How do you calculate an actual day without a sun and a moon? Because, you know, if there's no night and there's no day, yes, because the heavens were not made. <coughs> I know it's frustrating for those that I know. But it says, for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is. Mm -hmm. And rested the seventh day, wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Yes. Now, this whole concept of going to church. Yes. I am a big church goer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that on Sundays I should be going to church with my sons. Yes. And the actual denomination doesn't mean that much to me as long as they believe uh -huh, that the Bible is true. Poach. Now, a lot of those very religious, I mean, legalistic, yes, uh, uh, they would say it was an actual one week, yeah. But there was no sun then. There was no nighttime. There was no sea. There was no earth. Uh, uh. Then there's the honor thy father and mother that thy uh, days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Yeah. I actually disowned my mother. I found out that she participated in the family's uh, kidnapping of my sons. Yes. I said probably three, four years ago that my mother can go to prison, and it may not seem very honorable for me to say that. Yeah. But when Sandy Taylor, yes, uh, pays people to corrupt my rights, she can spend the rest of her life in prison. Mm -hmm. Now, my deceased father, Paul Douglas Budnick, obviously, I have fond memories of him. I did preach his eulogy. Yeah. So, if my mother could go to prison, as well as my uncle, my aunt, and any and all of those that said, well, this is the way we're going. Yeah. The dogs always win. Huge. My mother's, well, she sold her eternity for whatever morsel of food she could get right now. If you could imprison my biological mother, yes. I'd like to have my biological son's approach. Now, I know it says thou shalt not kill. Yes. Mm -hmm. Unless, of course, the law allows for it. And I'm a big fan of capital punishment. Mm. See, with 330 million Americans, yes. If we were to kill off maybe 10 to 20,000 a year for documented crimes where we had the evidence, we had the probable cause, and we had the witnesses. I think reducing the actual population growth because of the use of capital punishment, yeah, is an honorable reason for capital punishment. We should kill them. As in, there's the evidence that you committed rape. Yes, murder. <clears throat> And then the probable cause that you were in that city, yeah. And the arrest was because of the actual crime of depriving Americans of their enjoyment of life, yeah. Now, for every judge that thinks, no, we can't have capital punishment, it's really not that civilized, mm -hmm. let's look at population growth and why it should be very much a part of the judicial system of the United States. <laughs> Now, I consider it killing because they're no longer alive. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kill them. I think capital punishment is very good for weeding out the bad elements of society. And instead of putting them in prison for 31 to 45 years, yeah, let's just kill them. <coughs> 